Grant Engineering make the most efficient oil-fired burners on the market. Stephen Grant's boilers can reduce emissions in the average house by up to 75%. It all started in the 70s when he developed his first condensing unit. And the rest, as they say, is history. There was huge challenges in the very beginning because basically what I was doing from day one of the very first boiler was I was making one at night in a friend's garage and installing it the next day. Eventually, one man who owned a small store, seeing what I was doing, bought one boiler. Somebody installed it a couple of days later. He was back for more. I said, this is brilliant, so <laughs> let's go from there. And it grew very, very slowly from there. Yeah. What do you think of the air setting, Ollie? Will we need to bring uh, it down to I think we need to probably just sit down to just down I come up with most of the ideas in the middle of the night, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I find it's the best time to design. It's quieter, the telephone isn't ringing, there's nobody speaking to me. I can think very deeply. We can turn the product around very quickly. I think the development of the, of the condensing boiler was a moment in my life when I realised that we had something really special and when we went for approvals and we seen the level of efficiencies that the test house was giving us and so on, and we also knew that already from our own test lab, it was quite an exciting time. It is seen as the industry standard now in boilers. Most homes, if not all homes, on average, produce seven tonne of CO2 gas per annum. Two tonne of that are produced from normal living, cooking, etc., electricity, etc., five tonnes from central heating. So we can see where you can make such a vast difference if you cut 50% off, there's 2.5 tonnes. Today, Grant Engineering run 24 hours a day, sometimes seven days a week, uh, with highly sophisticated equipment, robotic welding systems, automatic laser systems. When I started in 77, my turnover was probably a few hundred pounds a week. Today, the combined turnover of Grant Engineering in Ireland and the UK is approximately 80 million euro. The plan would be to uh, develop our wood pellet oiler and get that on the market, on the world market. We have some other development projects going on which uh, can't be disclosed at the moment, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Stephen Grant's garage at home in Burr is a production line of a different kind. He has forged links with a community in Haiti and regularly sends toys and clothes donated by friends and the local community. Yeah, we need to have this ready more, I think, by July. Well, I think what we're doing here is, is, is probably quite removed from what we do in work. I mean, work is, as again, it's about, you know, environmentally friendly products, but it's also about driving a business, and it's purely a business. First consignment was sent down last year. Those came mostly from uh, friends and relations, and Maura has been very good to help me. And she's been washing and packing and sorting here. I think most entrepreneurs would have to get up and go to do things. If they didn't, they wouldn't be entrepreneurs, they wouldn't be successful, they wouldn't be where they are today. So the ability is there if, if the willpower is there, and if, the, if the will to do it is there, then the, then the ability is there, always.